In this video, we're going to install, first of all, the latest version of Liquibase via um, .exe uh, installer. And in the second part of the video, we're going to install an older version of Liquibase via the zip archive. So th the first step is to uh, Google for Liquibase. And that is mostly for um, uh, being able to go to the official Liquibase webpage, which is uh, liquibase.org. And here we see that we have a couple of options for um, downloading a version. The first option would be to download Liquibase Community, which is uh, the free version of, uh, of Liquibase, which we will do in this, uh, this uh, video. And the second choice would be to uh, try Liquibase Pro, which a is version of um, Liquibase uh, that has uh, more features than the community versions version and uh, also has support, uh, but this um, um, is a paid version. So for this uh, uh, exercise, again, we'll use the community version. Now going next to this page, um, we see that we have a, a couple of options as well. Uh, and this time it, um, it is about the operating system. So we have um, a Mac slash Linux um, tab uh, and we have a Windows tab here. Because this is a Windows 11 based machine, we're, we're going to go ahead with the, the Windows installer, of course. Um, the latest version at this point in time is uh, 4.19.0. So for this latest version, we are going to choose the installer. And uh, while this downloads, oh, here you can uh, optionally paste your email address for like receiving uh, tips and tricks and uh, latest releases information. But we're just going to ignore that. For the moment because mostly because I, I, I already submitted my email uh, but again it's optional so so a couple of words about the installer uh, it contains the um, Liquibase library uh, as well as um, in the install process uh, setting the environment uh, variable and stuff like that but it also includes the, the Java which is a requirement for uh, for this Liquibase uh, library or framework um, because it's a Java-based uh, tool, so of course it uh, it has a prerequisite to, to have Java installed, and comes with uh, drivers for the most used databases uh, such as MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, and so on. Okay, so let's see if uh, the download is completed. Of course it is, and um, let's run it. Okay, yes on that. Um, and now next. Here um, we are asked to uh, choose a target directory where Liquibase will be installed. And while it is um, a good uh, way to, to leave the default, I usually choose um, a different location for this. Um, and this is because I want to, so this is like from previous execution, I'll delete that. I want to have um, all of the Liquibase version in the same place uh, because in time I will also add older versions of Liquibase for backward compatibility tests and, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create um, a folder here like uh, Liquibase 4.19.0. And choose this one as the target. Next, also the installer with, will set the um, uh, environment, the user variable environment, uh, user variable under environment variables, uh, the path to the Liquibase folder. Okay, this goes pretty fast because the the tool itself doesn't. Um, is not that big. Okay, open the location. Okay, everything is here. And now we can check uh, a couple of things. First, environment variables. Let's see how Liquibase is set up here. Should be under user variables path. 
and we have the, the target directory here and now we can uh, we can test if liquidbase is uh, is working um, and by that that we can do with uh, opening a partial session and typing liquidbase version and this should um, fetch us the the liquidbase version which is let me just maximize this um, 4.19.0 so things are are set perfect and also notice that the libraries uh, or helpers that were installed are also listed here as I was mentioning the the commonly used databases and the drivers are here so that you can directly connect to the um, uh, databases via Liquibase during the deployment. Um, so this is automatically done. Now to the second point, install an older version of Liquibase. Uh, these things by using an, a zip file, um, these things will be need, will need to be manually done like um, installing the Java version which is a prerequisite and also um, uh, downloading all of these drivers depending on the need uh, as we will see. So now let's go back to the Liquibase page and here we can see a previous releases link which uh, lands us on the, the Liquibase GitHub uh, repo where we find the previous version. Actually, I think all of the versions here. And of course, uh, bug fixes and features uh, that are listed here. So now, for example, let's scroll down. We have the previous version. Let's just take like a random version. I don't know, 4.17.1 here. It should be under assets here. And notice we also have an installer, but for this exercise, for this second part of the video, let's grab the archive file. So it's downloading and should be, it should be pretty fast. Okay, so I think the download was completed. Yeah, uh, let's just go to the download folder and take this and move it to the folder that I want to have uh, where, where I want to have all of my Liquibase versions and extract everything here. But first, extract all here. Yeah. Okay. So um, this would be the root folder of the the Liquibase uh, executable. And let's see what happens if we change the environment variable to point to this location instead of the other one. Environment variables, path, edit. And let's ch change this to, to this. Okay, okay. Now let's close first this partial, partial session and, and uh, open a new session and try the same okay Java is not recognized as an internal or external command I was saying that by choosing the installer um, we also have Java uh, already there uh, but if we go with uh, an older version or with um, any version actually but uh, installing it via a zip we need to have Java installed. And because this is like a brand new installation of Windows here, I don't have Java, of course. So Java install. The, the obvious reason is to, to go to Java install. And of course, the official website is java.com and something happens here. Yeah, accept all. And we want to download 
Java for Windows, yeah. And install it. Install everything I leave uh, as default. Let's just uh, close the partial. Power, power. Let's just close the partial session and close everything. While well, this um, installs, okay, we should be good to go. Let's see again opening a new partial session and version. And as you can see, everything is. Uh, no, no, the, the, the liquid base version points to the previous one, which was um, via the um, added via the um, a zip file. Okay, I see that um, because this is like a kind of a new version, it is a new version, it also has in, inside the zip file the, the commonly used um, uh, drivers. Uh, but for older version like prior to three, like uh, prior to four, sorry, like three dot x dot y, uh, this needed to be manually uh, downloaded from uh, from the internet and pasted to the uh, appropriate location and reference, of course. Okay, so this was uh, everything for this uh, video, and um, I'll see you on the next one.